I'm in Atlanta, though. You know what I'm saying? It, it get rid of the snow down here. That's what they say. How old are you? I'm 33. What, what, what's your name, baby? I'm Darius. Darius? Yeah, Darius. Darius. All right, I want you to be safe, so you do have to pull over. Are you looking for somewhere to pull over? I'm pulling over right now as we speak. Okay, okay. All right, what's going on, Kendra? How you doing? <laughs> well, what's your name? Darius is your name, correct? Yeah, I'm from Atlanta. Okay. Um, do you have any kids? Yeah, I got four daughters. Four daughters. How old are your daughters? 13, 10, uh, 2, and 5 months. Are they all by the same woman? Two women. Okay, um, the two-year-old and the young one, five months, same woman? Uh, yeah, my two-year-old and my uh, five months, yeah. Why you not with her? She just had a baby by you five months ago. I ain't going to lie to you, Kendra, because I ain't no liar, you know? I mean, <laughs> um, the, reason me and her, the reason me and her not together is because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a polygynist. I'm just telling you're you the a, truth. Wait, what are you? What, 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 I'm, what? I'm a polygynist. I believe in I believe in polygamy. I'm just telling you the truth. But pronounce it quit, one more time. Put that on your head all you want to. I don't give a... No, wait, wait. Pronounce the word one more time. Polygamous. Okay, you said it right that time, but before you said polygamous, you didn't say it right the first time. No, I know I said polygynist. Polygynist. You, that's, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. It's polygamous. Polygamous. Okay, that's okay. So, yeah. so you can't be with one woman. I mean, I can't be with one woman. To be honest with you, but you know, I mean, the way life goes and the way life is set up, it's like you need multiple women sometimes. You know, when you're a man, when you're a man of my caliber, and you and you you work hard and you provide and you protect your family you understand what i'm saying and a woman got her own career she got her own life going on the thing is somebody got to be there for the kids okay so i i can't be there for the kids all the time because i'm a business owner so i have to be out okay so red, red flags my ass i don't care what they say <laughs> Oh. Okay, so okay, so what you're saying for you is best if you're in a dynamic that you're dating more than one woman at the same time. Well, I mean, to be honest, I would prefer more than one woman at one time. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's like when you're dealing with one woman, when you're dealing with one woman. Okay, if you want her to work and you want her to be able to take care of your household, you expect her to take care of your kid, it's a lot come with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a lot come with that. So if you are a male and you're out here and you're making money and your income exceeds the woman's income, then you expect to come home you expect your kids to be taken care of. You expect your your meals to be prepared. You expect um, sex when you need it. You expect emotions when you need it. Uh, and to 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 put that on one woman, I mean, it's a lot. Okay, just curious. Could these women have other men as well? Nah, women can't have other men. But men can have other women. No, 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 no. I was with you until you got there. So why is it that the man can have multiple women to fulfill all the needs that he has, but now you have the issue if a woman has multiple needs that a man can... Because, prime example, let me just rebuttal what you're saying. So you as a man, let's say I'm a woman that says you out there working all the time, providing, pay all the bills, but because you're doing all that, you're not there for quality time. So according to the example that you just gave, 
I should be able to have you, the provider, and a man who can be around more. Because as a woman, just like as you as a man, I have needs. So you should be understanding like you're asking me to be understanding to you. Okay, so so let's get an understanding of this. So if you're a man and you want to take on a second wife, you still have to provide for your first wife. You understand what I'm saying? You can't take away anything that you're doing for your first wife just because you're taking on a second wife. You know what I'm saying? You still have to have date nights. You still have to have nights where you go out and enjoy each other and enjoy quality time. I don't care nothing about none of the red flags. I don't care what none of these people say. But you still have to have date nights and everything. But to have one woman to take care of all these responsibilities, especially when a woman got her own career, to have one woman take care of all of these responsibilities, to take care of the kids, to you know, do child care, and especially with COVID going on right now, to do child care, to do um, um, date nights with you, to to give you sex when you need it, to be able to give you the emotional uh, emotional uh, stance that you need. I mean, that's putting a lot on one woman. I listen. I, I'm, I'm listen. I, I think you have the desire to request whatever you want, right? I've been hosting a dating show for two years. People okay. request all different types of things. I guess okay. what I'm doing is challenge you to understand why can't a woman, because first of all, you said if a woman's a career woman, she has money. So your money, she doesn't need. Because if she's a career what? woman, she has money. Hold on. But in the examples that you give, you're saying to order to fulfill the needs that you have, one woman can't mm -hmm. fulfill all that. So I'm just asking, why can't a woman get other things that she might need from a man, from a different man, if he can't fulfill everything? Because, okay, this is what it says. <laughs> what does it say? Wait, wait, wait. Where's where it say it at? Where's this book? What book we reading? What book we quoting right now? Hey, man, you know I'm quoting, you know I'm quoting the, the Holy Scriptures. Okay, so let's put it like this. A woman, she's a receiving. A man is a giver. So a woman is built naturally to receive. You understand what I'm saying? She can't receive different men inside of her or different sperm cells or anything like that because that's giving her many different sex demons just like the lady who was on here yesterday, Paris. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but that's giving her many different sex demons. But a man is a giver. If a man is a giver, then a man shall be able to, a, a man himself can love multiple different women and still feel the same way and provide and, and take care of the duties that he supposed to. With a woman, y'all are emotional. So y'all are on a, a different level from what men are. You know what I'm saying? You guys are, are hold on, what do you folks say? He quoting what? <laughs> Okay, kids, we're listening to you. But, uh... No, but listen, listen, we're, we're going to keep going, but I will just say this. There are some women, I've had women that come on this show, that, that come, that came on this show, and uh -huh. have said the things that you said. She's a woman that wants multiple men. She doesn't, she's not going to be the only woman to one guy. So I was just wondering how come, how come you agree with it for men, but not for women. But it is what it is. Let's, let's move forward. You are a person. So look, hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. Let me ask you this. Say your, what's your name again? Darius. Darius, when's your birthday? January 10th. I just had a birthday. So you are a Capricorn, then, right? Most definitely. So, so let me ask you this. Are you still intimate with your child's mom? Uh, no. So, okay. And you, you don't plan on being intimate with her anymore? Uh, I mean, of course. I love her. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I want I want someone there who can also, because uh, uh, she got her own career and I got my own career because I'm a business owner. You know, she she, she doing what she doing. She she works where she works, but it's like we need someone there who can be a home a homemaker as well. 
which she's a homemaker. I'm not going to lie. She's a homemaker. But it's like when she goes to work, she has to do what she has to do. You understand what I'm saying? And when I'm working, I have to do what I got to do. So, so are you are you looking for a, the reason I asked you this because I'm not looking for I'm not looking for a babysitter or nothing like that. I'm looking for someone I can trust and build a relationship with someone who's um honest, respectful, trustworthy, a lady, and someone who um you know love kids cuz I got four kids. I, I would never deny my kids. Right, but I, the reason I'm at, I asked you about your child's mother that had a baby by you five months ago and it has a two-year-old, and you were honest and said you, you want a polygamist relationship. So if a woman that dates you, should she be open to the fact that you still at times will have sex with your child's mother? I mean, yeah, because I'm going to take care because I'm going to take care of my woman. Period. And, and hold on, let me quote something from the Bible real quick. It says, "If you want to have, if you want to have two wives as a man, because this what the Most High set in place at, for men. If you want to have two wives as a man, then you still must take care of your first wife. And all the duties that you was doing as a man first, you know what I'm saying? Before you decided that you wanted to have a second wife, you still must take care of those same duties as a man. You understand what I'm saying? And I know I'm good. I'm good in the bedroom. I'm good when I, you know what I'm saying, I am making money to provide for my family. I'm good when I'm going to take care of my kids. I'm I'm good all the way around. So, it, so okay, I'm, I'm I want to make sure it. I'm clear. The Bible says if you want to have more than one wife, you have to take care of the first wife. Most definitely. You have so, to take care of your first wife the same way. Okay, so so you're married. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Now to my to my child's mother. So are 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 you literally are you legally married? Or are you just saying that so you could follow the scripture I, you I, just I, quoted? Legally married. Truth. Truth. You're legally married? Yes. And I've spoke to her about this. I've I've talked to her about this. I don't I don't care. Everybody don't got to understand it. Everybody don't have to respect it. But I'm a real man, and I'm coming, and I'm coming truthfully. You understand what I'm saying? Well, okay. Wait, wait. But in the beginning, you said you were no longer with your child's mother. You didn't. You, I you mean, didn't, no, pause, no, we're pause, not pause, having sex pause, 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 relations pause. right now. No, listen, listen. You didn't. You you never you never presented her as your wife. You presented her as your kid's mom. So why didn't you say your wife? I said we're not having sexual relations right now. That's all I said. So you're married. Yeah. So you're married and you're looking for what on my show? A second wife. Boy, get your ass off. I don't got time for this shit. I don't got, no. Oh my goodness. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not, no. We're not. Now do y'all see why I be asking questions? Why I be trying to go deep dive? Because what I was going to say, <laughs> what was funny was, I, allow, I, I like to listen. So he was quoting the Bible. And when he was quoting the Bible and the scripture, he kept saying, "A man, the, the Bible says that you have more than one wife, then you have to take care of the first wife. So what I was going to point out is, well, okay, let's just say if that's true, you're not married to your child's mother. Come to find out he is married. It, child. Child. A whole husband on this show. Why are you messing with my blood pressure on a Saturday night? Child. 